Today's Instagram babe of the day is Chantel Jeffries, who boasts 3.5 million Instagram followers at the time of this recording. At a first glance, everyone seems to think that Chantel Jeffries is one of the Kardashians, but she is not, although she does hang out with Chloe and Kylie quite a lot, so maybe a distant cousin. Uh, I'm starting to think she might be like an OJ Simpson love child. She looks a lot like them girls. Chloe, at least. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on guys? My name is Michael Crudden. And I'm Stella Nicole, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at Chantel Jeffries, who she is, where she came from, and how she became wildly popular on social media. I just got verified, for the record. Woo, congrats. Wow, I oh feel my like God. I'm blowing up. You are, literally. But, yeah? Yeah. I don't look anything like Chantel Jeffries, so I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, she got her name out there when she was spotted out with Justin Bieber. Let's take a look. Chantel Jeffries, uh, Bieber's uh, Lamborghini girl that was with him when he got arrested. She's pissed, and she's pissed about all the media reports saying that she's like this horrible person that's been arrested a bunch of times. She also hung out with another Hollywood bad boy, Logan Paul. Ooh, I heard they hooked up. I wouldn't doubt it. I feel like I always have 911 on standby. We always have 911. It's a good thing we have Chantel for they this. They said that you won't do it, by the way. They said, oh! So we're gonna play a game called Can Logan Move His Foot Out of the Way Before He Cuts Off His Big Toe? And she is an unofficial member of the Clout Gang. Oh, we had a huge argument. Like, who's the better best friend? Like, which you know, is obviously us. Chantal Jeffries was born on October 1st, 1993, which makes her 25 years old at the time of this recording. Chantal lived in seven states growing up because her dad was in the military. Wow. I, I, I only went to one school my entire life. How about you? I went to mm, one. Yeah? No, three. You went to three schools? Are we calling it elementary school and high school? Wow, well, like the same group of people. Like I didn't move from my one house, is, I guess. Oh, no, I was at one house. One house and but like three different, like, like yeah. It's not like mm -hmm. I just didn't do anything after elementary school. That'd be, that'd be weird. Well, yeah. But not surprised. But I went to two elementary schools and one high school. Oh, so you did do a move? No move, just my mom moved and then I had to follow her. Uh, yeah. Okay, so but that's tough when you have to like meet new people. Yeah, it was kind of awkward. I'm really socially awkward, so that was fun. Hey guys, I'm Stella. What's up? Thanks. And the name, too. It's not like I'm not Michelle. I'm Stella. I'm Stella, yeah, so that was fun. I guess the beer thing, everyone probably thought you were a party girl. Well, well not in grade five. Unless those kids had problems at home. <laughs> <laughs> Did people sing the song to you? Stella? All the time. Stella, ala, ola, quack, quack, quack. All the time. Yeah. I didn't even have to start it. You were just right. I just went. I just went for it. So like a nightmare song for you now? No, it's fine. I just own it. It's fine. Got it. Yeah. But do you find people cheesy when they bring it up now? You're like, I've heard it. It's either that or, oh my god, Stella Beer's my favorite. I'm like, yeah, well, cool. For me, it was. Or the goal. Stella. Yeah. Or like Stella. Do you know what movie that's from? I'm like, I actually do. Now we're gonna take a look at some of Chantel Jeffries' photos here on Instagram, and the girl posts enough throwbacks, I could probably make it before their famous video on her. If you guys want me to do that, let us know. Let's take a look. Okay, what do you think of this here? Well, I'm obsessed with her, so I feel like she has no bad photos. Mm. At all. I, don't, I can't get past the Kardashian thing, and I don't get a good vibe off them, so. I just don't see the Kardashian thing. I feel like everyone just, like, what do you see that's the Kardashian It's in her? the big lips, it's the hair part, it's the big eyes. She looks like Kim Kardashian there, 100%. <laughs> like that's Kim Kardashian's passport photo. I don't For know, sure. I just don't see it. I don't, I think she's a much more natural maybe version of them. Really? Was well, she's young? How was she not, like what do you mean, like less work's been done? Yes. Oh. Okay, this photo here where she is, I don't know, she's wearing leaves around her breasts and a tie and a mink coat and then panties. What kind of outfit, would, where would someone wear this? At a fashion shoot. Currently, BTS of my shoot piece ah. just discovered the most amazing camera, so God bless you timelines when I get a min. What the f God bless your timelines. Oh yeah. So I guess she discovered a very, very good camera. Uh -huh. I wonder if it was Canon, Sony, Sony what, what could it be? I don't know, but the attention, this is a really, this is a good one. I like this one, do you approve? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest with you. Yeah, he doesn't like, like, you're not obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with her yeah. more than you are. You were, like, excited to make this video. I was off. super excited. Like, Chantal Jeffries, I was like, oh my god. I just creep her today. Really? Yeah, I did. Okay, so here she is. She's standing up against the white wall. I don't think she's that tall, for sure. She's not. I actually met her in person. She's 
very short, but I'm also very tall, so everyone looks very short to me. Where'd you meet her? Um, I was at Wildflower, and she was DJing there, actually. No, she's a DJ? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this photo, the boobs are on fleek. The boobs are looking great. My Just God. great. Um, too much makeup here. For a shoot though, you have to have a lot of makeup for a shoot. No, this reminds me of um, like that Simpson episode where Homer becomes an inventor and he makes like a, a rifle fire makeup out of face. Close your eyes, Marge. And now you're ready for a night on the town. That's Really? Happening. But you don't think it looks nice? No. Like if a girl came up to you with this much makeup, you'd be like, whoa. It's a little much. Yeah. But she looks good without this much makeup, so would that make a difference? The boobs are great. So you're just looking at that right now. The, <laughs> the makeup is like, like, if she was to kiss me, she would leave a face on me. Um, For sure. If she slept well, on a if pillow. If it got heated enough, I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah the pillow thing is over. If, if you got white sheets, there's no chance. But it looks great. This is acceptable maybe at someone's wedding and nowhere else. Right, but it's also at a shoot, so very acceptable. Glam by Sam for my pretty little thing shoot. Okay, fine, that's, that's fair. Acceptable, fair. Here she is on set. Again, fair. What set is this? She's in her bedroom, clearly. She's not in her bedroom, she's just taking a pic. That is, those are closet doors. <laughs> Maybe she's in a hotel taking these pictures. Okay, this one's good. You like this one? Yeah, she looks like Spider Woman or something. Yeah, she looks great. I think she looks great in everything, but she looks very great here. Makeup by Samuel, he's a good makeup artist. Working with Entertainment Weekly, good for you. She's doing a lot, she's done a lot, so. She's biracial. Right. Uh, that always makes for really good. Very good looking children, always. Ooh, and a bikini photo, look at that tattoo. Must like this one then. I like the tattoo, mm. the compass. Mm. Just the tattoo you like? I like the positioning <laughs> of it too, because like, and it's cheeky. Yes. And you're not always gonna see it because usually clothes are gonna cover under boob. Right. So when you do see it, it's unreal. It's nice. <sighs> All right, listen, that was a, a lot of fun. She's <laughs> she's up to something. Seeing uh, a girl half naked, how could that not be fun for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so more on Chantel. She is an actress. She's appeared in A Perfect Match and Weekend with the Family back in 2016. She's also a social media star with almost 800,000 followers on her YouTube channel. And she's pretty open and honest with her fans. Like mm -hmm. she actually like got some work done and then vlogged the whole thing. Let's I take love a look. that. I love that. Crazy. I just woke up. It didn't really. I don't really hurt right now. I'm just confused. I, th th this is you know. When I grew up and like looked at Hollywood yeah. stars, were like, did they get any work done? Is is Nicole Kidman got a new nose and stuff? They're just showing everyone in the hospital and after the hospital. I kind of like the honesty though. I love girls that are honest about it, that they're open about it, and they're like, listen, like I, I, I did this, I fixed this, and I, I wasn't happy with this, and this is what I did, and I think it's amazing. Now, girls that are very in denial about it, or they'll be like, I didn't do anything, this is all natural, it's like, come on. We know that it's not. Just be open and honest with it. Mm -hmm. I right? guess there's no hiding it anymore. There isn't, like girl to girl, let's talk about it. What? You did this, this is my doctor. By the way, my doctor's great, here's, your, my, here's my doctor. Sharing doctors. Sharing doctors is key. Well, if women are doing this, maybe in a couple years, the men will start doing this. Well, you I got, got a little nip and a little I, tuck. I, a men, little... I think men do it now, and they, they're just not as open. I think they do a little Botox. Oh. A, a, little, a little Botox. Shit, so a what? little, maybe a little tummy tuck. <laughs> I've been pitched these things by people at parties. People, Ugh, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm just a dude. They pitch them to you? Yeah. That's that's mean. That's not. That's like a plastic surgeon that. being like, you, you need, need a that. new set of boobs. Yeah. <laughs> not a good pickup line. Huh. No, that's hurtful. Why would they say that to you? That's what I was like. I was like, what's wrong with? Like, this? wait a minute. Did this conversation actually happening? Like, they're actually saying to me, you yeah. should do this. Yeah. And I'm like, well, not with you. I'll go to your competitor. <laughs> you just pissed me off. Yeah. Um, all right, so that video of her showing off her stuff clocked in 1.3 million views for her YouTube channel. Right. She's teaming up with all sorts of other stars, and she's breaking into traditional media, so the girl is on fire. She's worked with guests, lots of good stuff. She's doing amazing. Good for her. Yeah. Now guys, we're gonna do a bunch of these videos on Babe of the Day, so let us know what other Instagram starlets you want us to feature. Do you have any favorites? You know what, I have to say, Chantal Jeffries is one of my favorites. How long have you been following her? A few years. Her and you know who else? Tammy Hembrow. Hembrow? She's, have you seen her? Mm. She's an Australian girl. Her body is 
unreal. And she's had two kids. Oh. And her waist is like this small, but her butt's like this big. And I'm like, I don't get it. I'm excited to keep this. You should look going. her up. She is, she's, she's doing very well. She's very popular. Can't wait. Okay, I'll show you her. My name is Michael McCrudden. And I'm Stella Nicole. Where can they find you, Stella? Uh, Instagram with two eyes, Stella Nicole with two eyes, and YouTube with one eye. Now, Stella actually looks like a Kardashian herself in some of these photos, so go check it out <laughs> and like the one that I'm talking about, for real. Okay, bye. Bye.